Hey homies, what's up? It's the Tominator, and in this one I wanted to feature one of my favorite physiques ever, and we're talking about Marvelous Melvin Anthony here at the 2003 Iron Man Pro. Now, I know this dude is doing some hard time in jail right now for selling meth or some stupid shit like that, but bad as it may sound, I don't really care about that to be honest with you because I'm focusing purely on the physique here and just remembering his excellence as a bodybuilder. And so when I came across this high definition footage the other day, I knew I had to make a video on it. Now, I already did a video on Melvin about a year ago, but there I was mainly focusing on his skill as a poser and an entertainer. That was really this guy's main claim to fame after all. But I think the physique itself clearly speaks volumes as well and deserves some major recognition. So in this one, I wanted to stress the aesthetics that he had because when this dude was in his heyday, man, he had one of the nicest physiques of all time, in my opinion. In fact, this may very well be the most aesthetic bodybuilder since the turn of the century. So that's why I liken him to Flex Wheeler in the title. And some of you might be questioning my word choice there because it's not often you use the word pretty to describe another man's body, but I think it's a very fitting adjective when it comes to bodybuilders like Flex Wheeler or Melvin Anthony because both of them just had such round, full muscles with the tiny joints and waist to go along with it. And this, along with their softer, more saturated muscle bellies, lent an almost delicate quality to their physiques, which is to say they both had tremendous shape, symmetry, and proportion, albeit not the driest conditioning around. But they both had some of the best arms, backs, and midsections of all time as well. And they weren't the widest guys on stage, that's for sure, but their backs had exceptional thickness and detail. And even when it comes to the legs, these two were very similar because in terms of the quads, they always had good detail there, but they would tend to hold a lot of water through the glutes and hamstrings and so look really soft in these areas. And certainly, if you know a thing or two about bodybuilding, you can tell that Melvin is holding a ton of water here in general. But you know what? Does it really matter? I mean, when you look this good, who cares about striated glutes, man, honestly? It's like Cedric today. He rarely ever comes in crisp and super conditioned, but... Still, these are the types of bodies that you would actually want to have for just walking around on a beach, you know what I'm saying? Shredded glutes are really only appealing in the context of a bodybuilding stage, and I think the judges today tend to kind of fetishize that element too much at the expense of other more important attributes, such as pleasing shape and symmetry. Like, sure, conditioning is important and ought to be rewarded, of course, but at the same time, it should really just be the finishing touches, the icing on the cake, and not the primary basis by which contests are won and lost. It's like what Arnold said when he told the judges that the main thing they should be asking themselves is whose body would I want to have? Because if we go by that simple criteria, then it doesn't get much better than Melvin Anthony in my eyes. So conditioning aside, the only thing I can find fault with here is his chest. Because I don't know if you noticed, but when he flexes, his lower pecs look a little odd and pointy shaped. So I think that's actually a bit of gyno he needs to address. But other than that, he's near perfect from an aesthetic standpoint, and I, for one, would still rather look like this any day of the week compared to the uh, current Olympia-level bodybuilders competing today. So that is my take on Melvin Anthony, guys. Definitely one of the most appealing-looking physiques in the modern era and one of my personal favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. But what's your stance on the conditioning versus aesthetics debate? Do you think more aesthetic physiques like this should be rewarded even when they're not that well-conditioned? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm the Tominator, signing off, and I'll be back.